What is going on everybody? Welcome, welcome to another WWE News and Rumors Roundup. In today's episode, as always, we're going to be discussing the latest news and rumors in the WWE. Today we're talking about Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Sasha Banks and the Women's Championship, upcoming pay-per-view plans, Dean Ambrose and much more. So let's get right to it. Starting off with Seth Rollins, just like the previous episode. As I reported in the previous episode, Seth Rollins was injured enough that WWE didn't want him to compete this week week but he is said to not miss any major action regarding his quote-unquote face turn that was supposed to happen already well apparently that is still the plan the wwe does want to have a full-blown baby face turn for seth rollins at the moment he is just in between basically where he hasn't acknowledged to the fan that he is a face pretty much where randy orton was a couple of years ago where he was just throwing rkos to everybody regardless whether it was baby face or heels so it was was awesome so expect that full-blown baby face to come regarding the quote-unquote roman reigns heel turn that was supposed to happen well wwe had planned to make roman reigns a heel as part of a double turn with seth rollins a couple of weeks ago as we discussed while the rollins part is still ongoing the decision was made to keep pushing roman reigns as a good guy and you ask why well why well nobody knows obviously only vince mcmahon knows because it looks like he's still the only one who believes in roman reigns as a face that is because i'm pretty sure he'll be a great heel the speculation now is that the new day will be breaking the militia's record for the longest run with the tag team titles that will be why they were pushing the comparison so hard on monday night raw because wwe always likes to make that obvious wwe plans to have sasha banks reclaim the woman's title but maybe not unto hell in a cell as she probably never will have dropped it back to charlotte if they knew her injury weren't that serious and the rumors continue continue that WWE officials are extremely high on Dana Brooks and plan to use her current program with Charlotte as a mean to push her as the top babyface on Raw over Bailey and Sasha Banks. I cannot believe that this is still a rumor. Dean Ambrose is expected to take time off to film a new WWE Studios project after October 9. October 9 is No Mercy where he has a triple threat match against AJ Styles and John Cena. So it looks like AJ Styles will be returning retaining his title and no mercy considering the fact that john cena is also set to leave to record the next season of his show and in other news no one dar is expected to debut on monday night raw in october however grand metalik will likely not be back until he finish up commitment in mexico and the last piece of news that i got for you guys is that wwe is promoting jim ross one man show in toronto during survivor series weekend but it is not expected to lead to any changes in their business relationship would be awesome if jr were to come back for at least to call just that pay-per-view hell i'm pretty sure it will sell a lot of wwe network subscriptions just for that night but anyways guys that that is the latest that i got for you guys on this episode make sure you guys stay tuned for much more as i am catching you guys up on all the latest news and rumors in the wwe and all around wrestling if you missed the previous episode where i discussed a full update on tna status make sure that you guys check that out with also the latest on Cesaro and Dove Ziggler's contract in the WWE. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you guys uh, drop a like if you guys found this informative. Because we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. Macho Tiao. Dig it.